Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise to pay tribute to a young man who has made the ultimate sacrifice and to express the appreciation of a grateful nation, a grateful commonwealth, and a community who is truly proud to call him one of our own. On March 18, 2013, Lance Corporal Joshua M. Martino from Dubois, Pennsylvania, and six of his fellow Marines lost their lives during a live fire training exercise in Hawthorne, Nevada. Joshua was, was just 19 years old. Those who knew Joshua will tell you that he always wanted to serve in the armed forces. He said he became a United States Marine because he could not stand by and let anything happen to his family or his country without doing something. As a young man, Joshua had already earned a reputation as someone who lived to serve others, who always sought to do his very best in everything he did. He was a Boy Scout and served his community as a volunteer firefighter. He volunteered for the Special Olympics and assisted individuals with special needs. He was very proud to serve as a student ambassador with People to People in 2011. In July 2012, Joshua became a United States Marine. He completed recruit training at Paris Island before qualifying as a mortarman at the School of Infantry at Camp Geiger, North Carolina. He was scheduled to deploy to Afghanistan in October 2013. For his service, Lance Corporal Martino was awarded the National Defense Service Medal and the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal. Joshua Martino will be remembered as a courageous young man of action who was ready to stand up to any challenge and always willing to serve others. He gave his life while making our security and our safety his life's work. Today we are joined by members of Joshua's family, Karen Perry, Joshua's mother, Pamela Murdoch, Joshua's aunt, and Anastasia Schrock, Joshua's fiance. Please join me in welcoming them to the Hall of the House and thanking them for the pain and sacrifice they've endured for our country. Thank you.